Hi there guys, it's Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this amazing looking neon um, glowing wallpaper. So first off, um, this will be available in CS4 and CS5. I'm not sure about CS3, I think it works. So you want to go to your desktop and for um, I think if you right click and click properties on Windows XP you'll find it but on Vista and Windows 7 I think this is the way you do it, you click screen resolution it's all the way you do it on Vista and where it says resolution it'll show you the size of your um, screen so I'm just gonna exit out of that so but I've already forgot it already what was it I think it was alright 1440 times 900 so you go back to Photoshop and you're going to click File New, and it's just going to be 140 and 900, and you're going to click Enter. So once you've got the size you wanted, um, you want to make sure this is white, the other one's black, and you're going to click Control and Backspace to make it black. And after you've done that, you can add some text. So I'm using Brie Light, be a um, link on how to get that. Uh, amazing font so make sure it's in white I'm just gonna add my name well company alright so you don't want to make it too big because then it'll look too big on your background but um, that's it um, so I know the the Ryan looks a little bit wrong but then it will you want to come down here and click FX and you're gonna go out of glow I'm just going to leave it as that, don't do anything else uh, for now. And then I'm just going to zoom in a bit, zoom in about 100% on this. So um, once I'm here, I can just work with this. So I'm going to let go here now and I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to go up to my brushes tool and I'm going to choose the basic brushes. Everyone has that, so you don't need to download anything. And you're going to go down until you find this soft brush here and about 65, no, about 60 actually. And then you're gonna choose your colour, so I'm gonna choose a a green. So I go over this. It doesn't really matter, just go with it. Green to light blue and to dark blue into a purple. So go like that. And then into pink. Then going into a red, a, this type of colour, and to red, and then once you've done that, it looks something like that. It can be all over the place, it doesn't really matter. Then go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur, and that's how you say it. And you're going to set this to about 40, around the 40, so I'm going to choose about, yeah, about 42. So it sort of spreads it out and you're going to click OK. And you're going to go here to the, onto the layers, make sure you're on nothing else. And you're going to, where it says normal, you're going to choose colour. And as you can see, it colours it in now. And then to bring out the brightness a bit more in this, you're just going to go back to your, pro, well, the text you've done. Click effects, back to glow. Then make sure you have it at the side and you can up, up it a bit. Open up the spread, up the glow. So you don't want to make it too big because on your desktop that will be... That'll be noticeable enough. So I'm just going to zoom back out now to about, oh, I think about 67. Yeah, it's all right. And then we're going to add some. What should we add? Um, some brushes. So I'm going to make a new layer again. Always make sure you make a new layer. And I'm going to go to my brushes tool, and I'm going to be using. Uh, let's just find this now. Ecole brushes by Rubina. 19, oh, 199, 119, so I don't know how you say that, yeah, I think that's it, so then you can go to the link in the description and download these, I'm going to be using this one here, um, any of them go well, I'm going to be choosing this one here, and I'm going to choose the colour, yeah, I'm going to make it a bright red, I'm just going to plant it in, like that, and then I'm going to do the same, I'm going to create a new layer, zoom in, Put my over. 
Oh, I should put the navigator on, but I can't be asked. Um, so I'm going to go back to the brushes tool, and I'm going to go to basic brushes, and I'm going to choose number 60, the soft brushes, and I'm just going to add some colour coming from this, so maybe a, a, a blue coming down off this, and then over here, and try, try to stick with um, a few brushes, don't don't go too far, so I'm going to do some pinks, coming off here, and off here, and a bit of so just get it going round um, and mess around because it does interact so you get different colours that you didn't add and all this so it looks smart. You know, add different colours, mess around with it. I put too many in so this will be my last colour. Alright, okay, so once you've done that you're just gonna um you don't need to bl oh you do need to blur this, sorry, so you it'll already be there, so you just wanna blur it and then choose colour. And then it will colour it, and then also for the layer two, you're just gonna click effects, out of glow, and I'd leave it as that, or maybe just just touch down. So, but yeah, so you get this bright glow, and then so to finish it off, we're gonna add one more, and this is gonna be called Big Star Fields, and I'm gonna create a new layer again, drag up this, and then I'm gonna choose this one here. And then see it'll come like this, and I'm going to choose a pink. And then once I've done it, that's it. Add about two. Uh, maybe a little more. And once you've done that, you're just going to drag it down beneath the text. And there's your background. Very, really smart. So once you're finished, you're going to go to File, Save As. Then you're going to save it as whatever you want, wherever you want it, and you're going to save it as. Make sure you save it as a JPEG or a PNG. Doesn't really matter, but most people, most you'll need to save it as a JPEG. So, thanks guys, and um, thanks, uh, yeah, thanks guys, and um, thanks for watching. Um, hope you subscribe. Got loads more tutorials on the way. Thanks guys.